my name is Lisa Coleman, I'm a consultant psychiatrist with the South London Loyalty Trust. So, folie à deux is a condition where one person, usually a member of a couple or a family, develops what we call a delusion. A delusion is a fixed false belief that's well outside what would be thought normal within culture or isn't like a strongly held religious belief. They're usually persecutory or grandiose. By that we mean they're paranoid, they feel people are after them. Maybe they think someone's put a chip inside their head and is monitoring them. The world's a very malevolent place. Or grandiose that they've got sort of special superhuman powers. This is a condition where when one person develops that delusion, that their partner also develops the delusion as well. And that the delusions are identical. So they both are have the exact same symptoms and there's always one person who has the primary delusion and the secondary person will come to also share their delusional beliefs. It's a topic that has so much resonance, the idea that two people, usually fairly isolated from the world, can almost create their own psychic world that one person can go so far as to go what we'd call mad, to have delusional ideas, and the other person who loves them and, and has a, a shared world with them will follow them to that place and, and also develop those ideas as well. It's very, um, it feels like a metaphor for lots of things. I mean, people often say that Love is a madness in some way, like a, a temporary delusion. The thing about folie à deux is that for the vast, vast majority of cases, it happens within either a, a couple, a unit, or within a family. It's within people who have this very intense emotional bond and are often very isolated from the world. And I think the parallels with falling in love with somebody or wanting to inhabit their, their mind, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, is so powerful. It's that eternal, irritating question of the lover. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? <laughs> it's, um, I, I, think there's, I think that this is the same for most psychiatric syndromes and conditions, but there's something about it that is fundamentally understandable, that urge or that desire. Yeah, I can't wait to hear it. Um, I'm really excited. I think it's, um, it's, it's such a powerful idea that can be played out in so many ways and I can't wait to hear it.